Hello, this is MK Fan 49 with a special review. Today we're looking at the Bandai Spirits 01 Agumon that Warp Digivolves <laughs> into War Greymon. Now this is him in his Agumon mode. In Agumon mode, which is not bad, he can't rotate his head at all. He can move his arms up and down. He can go out like that. So he can get about a 90 degree bend. He gets a little bit of a bicep swivel. Legs can, can get a 90 degree. Can kick back that far. Can kick forward that far. Can do outwards rotation. And now it's time to Digivolve Agumon. So the first thing you want to do, go ahead and pull these up. Next, come to the feet. You want to bring these like this, and you want to rotate at the feet. Just be gentle. These do pop off very easily. Same thing for the other foot. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but... And then the same thing for this one. You want to rotate these next you want to come here and go ahead and extend these out next you're going to open up well let's do this first let's go ahead and open up the head so next you want to come to the back so you can go ahead and Get these out of the way. Same thing for this side. You want to get these out of the way. You gotta be careful, these do come off very easily, so be careful. So the next thing you want to do is go inside of here. Go ahead and get these out. These are going to fold into these slots right here. So go ahead and put those into there. I can get this in. Come and rotate the foot. Same thing for this side. Go ahead and, and attach that to that joint right there. It may be a little bit difficult, but go ahead and go ahead and rotate that to the Come to the front so you can go ahead and remove this chest piece because all it is has to come full circle. That's been a while since I've done this. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to get this tab in place. So you want to bring this up on this hinge right here. And that'll tab that in place. Go ahead and bring up his horns like that. Come and rotate the legs. Yes, this does happen. This is an older figure. I've had this for a couple of years. Oh, man. Hold on. 
Next, you want to rotate these arms so they can go forward into the joint right here. The lock in the place. Same thing for this one. You want to lock that into the joint just like that. Go ahead and straighten the arms out. Go ahead and fix that. Like that. And there you have your War Greymon. Now in War Greymon mode, let me camera up some. His height does get bigger. Um, so, he can rotate the arm three, well, up and down, not way through 60 only, well, it's due to the way he has the pieces for his head. You can still get the same articulation. Now, for posing, it's, you probably can get a little more rotation for the legs. Now that that's out, you can get a double knee bend now. Now that it's not inside the Agumon shell. And if we want to perform the his Terra Force attack, which he does. Straighten him up. Like that. Let's get his head up. And you want to position his hand just like that. For him to do Terra Force. Now, he is a great figure. A lot of the pieces do pop off very easily. But he is similar to his original mold. I do have the original somewhere. The, the limited edition one. But it's just... It's a lot. So. I do recommend this figure. If you're lucky enough to find him still. He is a worthy buy. For any Digimon fan. So. Please like the video, please comment the video, please share the video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos and to be notified for any videos you may have missed. And this is MKFan49 signing out.